Hey guys, Richard here. So welcome back to another video and what I have here is I ordered it from awok.com which is the Enet W3 smartwatch. So even though it has this Enet branding here, definitely looks like a generic smartwatch. Actually, after, after a bit of searching, this smartwatch is actually it's a DZ09 smartwatch. Smartphone watch. Open it up and it's, it has a, a screen protector installed. Actually, it's not a screen protector, it's just like the small plastic to protect it from scratches. And here inside the package, we have a foam and cardboard and we have a micro USB cable. I, I doubt that this can transfer files between the watch and the computer. And we have a smartwatch phone user guide. And no need, no need for those things. So we're going to power on the watch. A long press. Okay, so that boot animation sucks. And what do we have here? It has messaging, Bluetooth call logs, Bluetooth dialer, remote notifier, remote camera, anti-loss settings, speedometer, sleep monitor, reminder, quick rest, I don't know what's that for, alarm, find me, calendar, image viewer, audio player, Bluetooth music, sound recorder, camera, file manager, calculator, browser, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. That's all we have. So let's see if this is actually Android. Okay, so I guess this is an Android. Let's turn it off. I mean, let's. So this is the home screen. We got uh, we got the phone book and the contacts. This is phone. This this is the dialer. Then we can press the contacts. We'll add the new contact yeah we press this one to back the names is the same as the contacts yeah menu okay, so that's what we have here for for only five dirhams so for only five dirhams you got this and actually to use the internet based programs you need to insert sim i don't know how is that connected maybe uh mobile data so the watch function is when you turn it off and on again but that's Tuesday and the time you t when you tap it it will change clock faces apparently you only have three clock faces so that sucks and how do you unlock it you slide it and now it's unlocked so actually this watch has a camera which is really interesting so let's see the camera first here oh wait so that's my hand gonna make it two three four five okay that's cool I'm gonna take a picture Oh, please insert memory card. Okay, so we got messaging. Got all this. Bluetooth. Okay, power, call logs. Bluetooth dialer. Oh, remote. Oh, so you can use this watch with an app on your smartphone. So it's just like Apple Watch or Samsung Gear. Anti-loss. Okay, settings, okay, connecting. Is there Wi-Fi? Okay, so they, there is not there is no Wi-Fi here. There's a pedometer. Start and how many steps are those? Still zero. I'm gonna run. Okay. Now it, it has 15 steps. 15 steps. Pause. Oh, it became 24. Clear. Okay, so that's a good one. 
Dell Stray Sleep Monitor. Okay, so I think that's when you're sleeping. Reminder. Quick. Oh, I think this is for the Android app. You can scan it with your phone. Alarm. So, there's an alarm. Find me. Okay, calendar. What? Sound recorder. Needs a memory card. Bluetooth music not connected. Audio player also a memory card. File manager. Okay. Calculator. That's right. Six. I mean, thirty-six plus one. It's thirty-seven, right? Browser. Insert sim. Facebook. Insert sim. So we need the sim card for all of these features, right? Okay. So you may ask. How did I get this for 5 dirhams only? I got this for 5 dirhams because of awok.com's uh, flash sale. It was 5 dirhams for around 40 minutes or I think 1 hour. And I got the deal and yeah, I got it for 5 dirhams. Also, I've been searching a way how to change the clock face of the watch and how to put custom firmwares and how to edit the wallpaper and moreover but apparently I found out that this is a DZ09 clone so the DZ09 is a clone of the Samsung Gear Watch 2 not, not, the, not the Gear S2 but the Gear Watch 2 and this edit W3 is a clone of the DZ09 so it's a clone of a clone and I've flashed the firmwares I've found in the XDA forums and none of them work except for one. So I'm gonna put the link down below of what that firmware is so in case if you forgot to back up your watch, if you have a DZ09 clone and you mess up with the firmware so I'm gonna post the link in the description so you can download it. So I so I advise you before you do any cost uh install in any flashing of custom firmware, you must first back up your firmware first. And with this firmware that I posted, since this is a DZ09 clone, first I cannot change the wallpaper and the lock screen wallpaper. Second is that I cannot change the custom. I mean I cannot change the clock faces of the watch. I've tried it, but it doesn't show because it has a different ROM. It has a ROM of a clone. So that's it for 5 dirhams. It's still usable but we cannot just mod it since it's a clone of a clone. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and I hope you learned something from this video.